Welcome back. We are on part two of the junkyard day. Um, so there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is, um, you can just barely see it behind me, um, the other junkyard I went to that I was driving to, um, they had two commanders. There was two black ones. Neither of them had the grab handles above the taillights. Unfortunately, they had the same black plastic piece as I have. Um, they didn't have any floor mats. They didn't have mud flaps. They didn't have tow hooks. They didn't have anything. Um, and one of them had a silver grill, chrome, which I already have. Um, and then one of them had a black grill. And I was like, I'm taking that black grill. I'm going to make this trip worthwhile. Um, and so I got the black grill, and then I got the roof rails that, um, like, slide back and forth, the ski rack rails, whatever you call them. Um, I, I just call them roof rails. But I got a set of those. Um, unfortunately, it was expensive because, well, they know they're the only junkyard open right now. So they were price gouging. Um, I think they were personal opinion. They didn't have set prices. Um, it was walk up to the counter and negotiate. And uh, originally they wanted a hundred. I said, never mind, I'll leave it here. Uh, he came down on the price enough for me to be like, all right, I can justify that. Whatever. Um, next thing. So uh, I was on my way back through, uh, and I was hunting for food. And I was like, you know what? I said, uh, I'm going to go to Shady Mabel. I don't know if you've ever heard of Shady Mabel, but it's a smorgasbord buffet. It's literally, the, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest in the country. Um, it's in Elverson, Pennsylvania. Um, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm going to go to Shady Mabel. And then, and then, I was driving and I saw a sign. Um, for a place called Just Moms, okay? I've eaten here before. I completely forgot about it. Um, it's in Honeybrook, PA. It's literally out in the middle of nowhere between cornfields. It's like you can see behind me. There's nothing. Um, it's middle of nowhere. It's fantastic food. Excellent. Amazing. I got a meat lover's cheesesteak, large cheesesteak. I'm so excited for this. Uh, but anyway, so... It's not expensive. It's fairly priced. It's run by the Amish. Um, they're very nice. And they also have ice cream during the summer, like a whole other side of the building dedicated to ice cream. I don't know. Can I flip my camera around? I don't think I can. Um, anyway, so like I said, excellent food. Absolutely recommend. 10 out of 10. I forgot about it. I've, I used to live out here, so um, I did eat here when I was younger, but I just, it, you know, there's so many places around where I live, it was completely just forgot. It was out of my brain. But anyway, so um, I got the cheesesteak. Uh, they also have homemade pies, desserts. Um, they have whoopie pies. So they have chocolate whoopie pies. If you don't know what whoopie pies are, uh, it's I think it's a Pennsylvania thing. I'm not sure. I don't know if they do it anywhere else. Um, maybe in Ohio. But anyway, um, so they have chocolate whoopie pies, chocolate chip, pumpkin. Um, they had all kinds of homemade pies because, you know, the Amish make a lot of homemade foods, desserts, blah, blah, blah. Everything they do is pretty much homemade. Um, they had uh, cherry pies, apple pies, uh, apple dumplings. Um, they make their own uh, ice cream sandwiches, you know, like make their own ice cream, like uh, they had all kinds of different ones, uh, different assortments there. If you're ever in Pennsylvania, okay, and you're within two hours of Honeybrook, Pennsylvania, okay, H-O-N-E-Y-B-R-O-O-K, Honeybrook, Pennsylvania, if you are within two hours, it is worth the drive, I promise you, guaranteed, guaranteed worth it. Um, and if you've never been to Shady Maple, again, if you're within like two, three hours, four hours, uh, and you know, you leave earlier in the morning, 6 a.m., and you get there 10 a.m. or you know, whatever, 8 a.m., and get there for lunch, 100% worth it. It's a gigantic, gigantic 
uh, smorgasbord buffet thing. And it's, again, run by the Amish. Um, excellent stuff. It's just, it's all good. And you, it's all you can eat. So you literally can just eat, eat, eat. And most of the time I end up having three plates. You, that's like pushing it. So most of the time it's two. I'll be on my third and be like, all right, that's enough. Like, I'm done. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to stop. So, um, and you can hear the pulsing of the Jeep, by the way. I was talking about that in the last video. Um, but anyway, so, like, excellent food. Amish food is great if you've never had it. Especially, uh, like, their homemade cheeses, um, homemade meats. Uh, there's also a farmer's market uh, in Leesport, Pennsylvania. Um, it's, I call it Leesport Farmer's Market, but pretty sure that's what it is called. Uh, it's Wednesdays, Wednesday mornings. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and that is in Leesport, Pennsylvania. And again, excellent homemade food, not pricey. The Amish prices their stuff fairly cheap. It's like uh, this cheesesteak, the huge monster meat lovers cheesesteak that's stuffed. Um, I paid, what was it? $12, $11, so like around here, that's cheap, that's really cheap for like a large cheesesteak, you know, it's, it's stuff, but it's got um, bacon, pepperoni, and sausage in it as well, so it's a four meat cheesesteak essentially, like I said, 11, 12 bucks, whatever it was, worth it, 100%, and then they have specials, like weekly specials, where they have daily specials at Just Moms, um, and again, always worth it, so Pennsylvania is great for food. Um, if you're a foodie and you literally just want to try new stuff, um, we have everything. We have a variety of everything. Whatever area you're in, you can find foods dedicated to that area. Um, you know, and then the only thing that, that really differentiates is, is cheesesteaks. Like, you don't have to be in Philadelphia to get a fantastic cheesesteak. There are plenty of places that have great ones. Um, one of my favorite spots is Little Nicky's, and that's in Douglasville, Pennsylvania. Don't mix it up with Georgia, because you'll end up driving 12 hours the wrong direction. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you're in Pennsylvania, or you're near Pennsylvania, and, you know, you get some free time, it's worth spending uh, a week just to cruise around and see the sights. Um, there's plenty of state forests, like Loyal Sock. Um, I've heard that's, I've never been there, but I've heard that's an excellent one. Uh, we have off-road parks such as Roush Creek and Tremont, PA. Um, I'm not sure where Loyal Sock is. You would have to Google that. Uh, but like I said, Roush Creek, which is like a, a dedicated off-road park, a little pricey, but you know, if, if you're into wheeling, that's your spot. That's a good place to go. Um, AOAA or Famous Reading Outdoors. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. I don't know. Um, again, tiny bit pricey, but if you're going often, it's worth it. Um, Rouse Creek is pretty much for full size 4x4 buggies and Jeeps and things of that nature. AOAA is dirt bikes, four wheelers, four, uh, full size 4x4s, everything. You can do everything there. Um, if you've never been to Centralia, it is covered up. The highway is pretty much covered up with dirt, but, uh, you know, it's still, if you're passing by, it's worth it. Um, and if you don't know what Centralia is, uh, Centralia is where they filmed Silent Hill. Um, I'm sure you've seen that movie. Everyone has. Did I miss my turn? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. Um, I think I'm but it was where the town was on fire. Um, the coal mine underneath the town was on fire. And due to the carbon dioxide, most people had to move. Um, so it was, it was bad, whatever, you know. It's been burning for years and years and years. Um, cool place to stop by if you're on the way. Um, but anyway, so Pennsylvania is good for everything. We have all four seasons. Um, I don't like living here because we have all four seasons. It's just, if you have allergies, forget it. Terrible place to live. Um, or if you're not, you can't deal with the cold, don't don't move here. It gets frigid cold. Um, you'll not, you will not be happy, I promise you. It is not nice. It doesn't get Alaska Arctic cold, but it gets cold. Um, 
and I definitely do not recommend going north in Pennsylvania if you do move here. Stay on the southern border of Pennsylvania, you know, um, what's underneath us, I forget, but um, yeah, don't, don't do the whole northern Pennsylvania thing, really bad idea, it gets ungodly cold up there. I live in um, southeast Pennsylvania, and it gets too cold for me here, I've been here my whole life, so um, definitely if you're, like I said, if you're really into the seasons and you're really into um, sightseeing, um, you know, there's plenty to do here. And like I said, there's plenty of state forests, everything you can possibly think of, we have. But, you know, um, if you have something you want to do, we have, it's somewhere in Pennsylvania you can do it. Guaranteed. There's, there's, literally no activity that I can think of that we don't do, um, or that we haven't been able to do, whatever you want to call it. I don't know which way I want to go. Definitely missed my turn somewhere, somehow. Should I take this way? I really don't want to take this way. I want to go this way. Another thing about driving, living in Pennsylvania, if you live in Pennsylvania or you move here, uh, the road system can get confusing. It's not like bunched together. It's vast, open, long straights. Um, but if you end up in farm country, you can get lost very quickly. Um, I mean, you're not going to be in any danger. It's Pennsylvania is a most of Pennsylvania is really chill. Like. People are nice pretty much everywhere you go. There's a couple bad, uh, bad towns in Pennsylvania, like, you know, that you want to avoid, especially like northern Pennsylvania. There's a couple bad places up there. Um, I won't name any. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but, you know, mid-Pennsylvania and down, you're good. Philadelphia is, it's a city, so, you know, use caution everywhere if you're in Philadelphia itself, but, um, yeah, it's, I, I do, I do like Pennsylvania, don't get me wrong, I just, I don't like living here, I, I, the winter sucks, it, you know, it's not only, is it, obviously it's frigid, but it's, the other thing is, is the salt, it's the snow, it's wet, slushy, it rains all the time, it feels like Florida, but super cold, it's just shitty, you know, it just, it makes you miserable when it's frigid, but the good part is, like I said, there's everything to do here. Every type of food. There's everything you can think of. We have it. So, you know. Um, and then back to touching base on off-roading stuff, overlanding, whatever. Whatever you do. Um, there's plenty. It's everywhere. You know. Um, unfortunately, where I live, there's nothing where I live for off-roading or even overlanding. It's you got to drive like an hour, um, but there is plenty if, if you don't mind traveling an hour, or if you move close to that area, you know, um, you can check on X off road. Uh, I use that and they do not sponsor me, but I do use on X out off road for overlanding and it's helpful because I can actually, you know, see trails. I can see public land. I can see, um, you know, what designated areas are for, such as snowmobiling, four-wheeling, um, ATVs, dirt bikes, full-size 4 by 4 that gives you all of that information. Um, I do pay for a, a subscription, so again, not sponsored, but I do use Onyx Off-Road, so, um, and absolutely 100% recommend. Um, and then, I don't know how much you can see out of the sides, but out of my side window, Pennsylvania is scenic, it really is, most of it, most of it's scenic, and, um, there are a couple of YouTubers that actually live in Pennsylvania and make content and are, like, super, super big on YouTube, um, and I do know where a few of them are from, um, I haven't talked to any of them, but one of my favorites is Diesel Creek, he lives in Pennsylvania, Definitely go check out his channel. Awesome stuff. Love it. 
Um, yeah, I mean, there's plenty to do if, if you are, if you don't mind the cold during the winter, great place to live. But like I said, if you don't like the cold, don't move here. It's not good. We get snow, it's gross, it's slushy, it's not good, powdery, awesome snow, it's wet, heavy, my back hurts from shoveling snow, like, it's, it's not fun snow, um, northern Pennsylvania, maybe, but southern, no, it's, it's just wet and gross, it's, it just makes you feel terrible, and it's slippery, uh, I go on for days about how bad the snow sucks here, um, you know, it's good for snowboarding, they do have, we do have mountain resorts such as Bear Creek, that's not too far from me, I think that's 45 minutes an hour, I haven't gotten to go up there yet. I plan on doing that this year. That's on my agenda. Um, you know, like I said, we have everything. We have everything you can think of. We have plenty of historical stuff if that's what you're into. Um, you know, like Hopewell Furnace, um, Daniel Boone Homestead. You know, that's all I can think of right now. St. Peter's Village, um, and they have they do a cars and coffee there. Um, I think they do them every other weekend or once a month. I forget. Um, but again, something you can look up on Facebook, whatever farms galore. It's just, it's mainly farmland. That's what most of Pennsylvania is farmland. Um, there is equipment auctions, and they're amazing. They have giant auctions. Um, so, you know, if you're into that, if you're into collecting um, you know, old signs, if you're into collecting junk, um, Pennsylvania is great for just whatever you want to do. In, in, in Pennsylvania, you can have your cake and eat it too. That, that's what I tell people. You can have your cake and eat it too. That's, that's the best way to describe it. But this one's getting kind of long. I know it's just been videos of me talking. I'm just getting back into the swing. And honestly, I'm just driving. It's nothing exciting. Just driving, driving, driving. That's all I've been doing is driving um, all day. So I put a lot of miles on the Jeep today. I don't even know. It's at least three, 400 miles already since this morning. And... I ended up spending a whole bunch of money and only getting a grill and roof rails. So I'm not thrilled, not satisfied. Unfortunately, part of living in Pennsylvania, though. Uh, so you will be seeing content with the Jeep. Uh, I'll make a video doing the grill and show you guys how to do that, how to swap out the grill. Um, it's pretty standard for almost any vehicle. It's almost an identical process. Um, so I think that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me. Um, I know it's annoying, but it's YouTube. That's the point. You know, it's about you, about me. So, all right, y'all have a good one. Stay safe, stay warm, we're cool wherever you're at. And uh, catch you on the flip side.